Hey YouTube, Waterfowler 2012. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I feel like I haven't made a video forever and uh, it's been a, a long time since I've made a video it feels like. And I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update on what the hell I've been doing and what's been going on. Sometimes uh, life happens and uh, YouTube's kind of got to go to the side for a while and, and you have to take care of what's going on in your life. So about uh, eight or ten weeks ago, wife and I were kicking around the idea of selling the house. And, um, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I figured, what the hell, let's see what happens. So uh, I currently live in a townhome, and uh, we've been talking about getting into a single-family home. And uh, so we, uh, we actually found a house that we liked uh, but we couldn't put a contract in well actually we did we, we put a not a contract we couldn't put an offer in let me let me back up this is terrible I should probably edit this part we we couldn't put an offer in on the house uh, under the recommendation of my real estate agent who's a friend of mine uh, until my house was under contract or my house was on the market anyway so once my house went on the market, we put an offer in on this house, that property that we liked. They came back and said, um, they're not taking any offers from anyone with a contingency uh, on selling their home unless their home is under contract. So we were kind of upset about it because we had been house hunting for three or four weeks at this point, every weekend going out looking at multiple properties. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> opened up a storage unit and uh, opened up a 10 by 10 storage unit. Do you know storage is crazy expensive? It's like 160 bucks for a 10 by 10 storage unit that is not climate controlled that you can drive up to. And I know there's a lot of storage units out there that have elevators, and you can. I didn't want that. I wanted something I could back my truck up to or right next to and unload and load. But in this part of the country, 160 bucks a month outrageous I just find that outrageous anyway so opened up a storage unit a couple months ago and uh, we decided to declutter the house being a prepper my wife is not very sensitive to the prepping lifestyle she's like everything's got to go you can't have any preps out and all this bottled water and two liter bottles that you have they're just everywhere and I mean they were organized but you know, it's just clutter to her. And for me, it's not clutter, it's prepare, preparedness, right? So, <clears throat> this has been a battle, and uh, I think I've been pretty much handling it the best I can, and I didn't want to put a lot of, uh, or any kind of food or anything in the storage unit um, because of the temperatures in the summertime, uh, I'm thinking that that's not a good idea to put food storage in a locker that might get over 100 degrees, right? It's not a smart idea. So anyway, um, and guys, stay with me through this video. I, I, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make it really short, but I just want to kind of explain to everybody and apologize to my subscribers for not putting out a video in so long, not commenting on videos. I mean, I just have not have had time to do it because my life has been a whirlwind the past couple months. Um, so we declutter the house, right? We're down to like two two plates, two bowls, a uh, couple Tupperware things. So when people will come through the house and they we have the house on the market, they open up the cabinets. There's tons of room. Uh, you know, you go into our linen closets. There's a couple sheets, pillowcases, and there's tons of room in there. Uh, you know, closets decluttered and everything we don't wear. A bunch of donations painted every room, caulked, uh, you know, cleaned everything. I mean, not that we're sloppy people, but obviously there's a difference between having a clean home and staging a home for selling it. And decluttering all your personal items, all your personal photographs. You know, my wife watches HGTV and is an expert because she watches House Hunters and love it or list it I, I you know these are a couple of the shows that i know of um and 
so she's an expert in how to ha knowing how to stage a home. So, you know, mulching, planting flowers. The day we plant flowers, the following day or the couple days after we plant them, you know, mulching everything, it snows, right? It snows basically the day of our open house. Another long story. But anyway, um, wife also says no taxidermy in the house, right? So if you go back in my videos, I have a taxidermy uh, video where I show some of the mounts that I have. I don't even think I showed all of them. I have quite a bit of taxidermy in the house. Uh, specifically in the basement, kind of my man cave thing, right? No taxidermy in the house. Well, I don't want to pack up my birds and, you know, fuck them all up with their feathers and get them all bent. And once you screw them up, they're screwed up, basically. So, that was a battle. I'm, I'm dropping off taxidermy over my parents' house, which, it, you know, my father has a bunch of taxidermy as well, you know, but not a lot of wall space to hang this stuff or store it. Have I have birds at friends' houses hanging up, you know, over their fireplaces and stuff like that. I just needed places to put them, and my friends, thank God, I, they're very, you know, some are in garages, whatever, but they're, they're safe and they're, they're not going to get screwed up. Um, and we're still married, me and my wife, even after all this experience, which is overwhelming to me. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the, the prepping thing with getting rid of preps, uh, y you know, that, that was very difficult. And, you know, she was like, there can't be a bug out bag. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You know, I'm not getting rid of a bug out bag. That is just out of the question you know that is a preparedness item that I'm not willing to have in storage it doesn't do any good in storage so there was some compromising on her and I and we still made the place look decent um, and uh, to make a long story short the house sold in eight days right under contract in eight days we accept we had a couple offers we accepted a contract so my house inspection uh, was yesterday and uh, went pretty well very minor stuff so um, actually let me show you guys something if I need to edit this I'll cut this and come back in I, I, these home inspectors I have to show you this I'm sorry <clears throat> okay let me get some light up here you see okay okay the inspector you see this box right here needs a cover a cover a cover and two screws okay that got written up on the inspection report under electrical a cover and here's the here's the best part guys a licensed electrician has to do it and sign off on it want to see the other electrical thing this line here that I've been here since I think 2002 and this was the line for the dishwasher and uh, when I redid the kitchen it didn't even have a dishwasher I don't know this line's always been run to the box here this needs to be in a junction box this has been here since 2002 this needs to be in a junction box like this right so a licensed electrician needs to put this in a junction box unbelievable just some of the things anyway uh, there's my bug out bag see still hanging there and my very limited water supply underneath this uh, utility sink back here anyway my very very limited preps look at this guys it's pitiful pitiful these preps that I have this it's pitiful so I have preps everywhere okay Back to, back to my story. I hope you guys, half of you have probably already left. And this video might only get 30 views. But anyway, all 30 of you, thanks for sticking around this long. Alright? Okay, I got some notes here, so I'm not trying to forget anything. Um, okay, so another little thing that I have going on is I'm in, uh, I'm in school online uh, for taking a course. And... Um, I have until June 30th to 
<laughs> to complete this course and if I don't I have to pay for extensions um, so I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure to get this online school finished and I'm, I'm getting close uh, but it's just taking hours and hours of time my son uh, his first birthday is coming up in May as well he's starting to crawl and almost kinda getting around to walking so it's been pretty challenging uh, keeping up with him as well um, and so if everything goes as planned um, our closing should be in June by the way once we got a contract on our house we did uh, re uh, put an offer in on the house that we liked and uh, they did accept that uh, our offer and my home inspection on the new house is Monday which I'm looking forward to because this house uh, it's like a grandma's house, uh, you know, um, it's it's a great house, it's on a half acre lot, it's two garages, not a two car garage, two garages, and uh, one's attached, technically they're both attached, but one you can get to from within the house, and they're calling them one and a half uh, car garages, so I'm very excited about having extra storage space, and this is going to be a great thing, I just hope the shit doesn't hit the fan before June, because then I'm in a world of shit. Um, and uh, so hopefully when I get into the new house also uh, the new house has a gazebo out back and uh, an outdoor like they call it an outdoor barbecue it's like the flagstone uh, outdoor grill um, so I'll be like Jane All Zero man doing outdoor videos of cooking stuff huh how awesome is that what a great prepping item and on a side note, we looked at another house that actually had a bomb shelter in it. And uh, the house wasn't going to work for us the way it was laid out. Um, but this house actually had a bomb shelter. It was really cool. And there was permits for the bomb shelter, too, from like the 60s, I think. Crazy. Um, I loved, loved the house, but it, it wasn't going to work for us logistically. But I wanted to buy it just because it had a bomb shelter, of course. Okay, so... Um, I finally got over 250 subs. Actually, I think I'm over 260 subs now. And again, I apologize. I've had some new subscribers. I guess I've I've made a few comments on some videos that I've had time to watch. And uh, actually, I, I, I just, uh, if you hung in for this video this long, I'm going to input a picture right now of me uh, a couple days ago. And this was me. And I told my wife I was not going to shave or trim my beard until we had a contract on this house and until I know that we were going to sell it. And after having the home inspection here yesterday with very minor stuff, I see no reason why this deal shouldn't go through. So I shaved, I trimmed my beard. So I lost about three pounds this week, guys, which is awesome. Three pounds. And here's why. Look at the photo. Welcome back, huh? Yeah, all trimmed up, looking very GQ-ish, right? So, yeah, man, lost three pounds this week just from trimming the beard. You know, good things are happening. Okay, if you hung in this long, here's the other news I have. Um, I promised a while ago um, that once I got over 250 subs, I was going to have a giveaway. Not a contest, I'm going to have a giveaway. With everything that's going on in the time frame, of what's going on with me right now and being super busy with school moving packing whatever um, I'm hoping to be able to do this before the 4th of July after I get into the new house give me some time to get settled and uh, and get back into the swing of things I feel like I'm so behind on watching so many videos uh, but actually I'll hope to have some more time when school gets completed and things settle down a little bit and I get moved into the, the new house and I'd love to do some videos on, you know, just maybe suggestions of how to set things up in the garage, I need shelving, whatever. Um, but all that will be coming down the pike, hopefully. So, um, the 250 sub giveaway, uh, which may be a 300 sub giveaway or a 275 sub giveaway by the time I get to it, whatever. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, to have that before the 4th of July. And... I will commit to one item so far on that giveaway, and that is going to be 
I don't have mine to show you. I am going to be giving away a Spyderco a Dragonfly 2 VG10 steel model. Um, I love mine. I, I love that knife. It is so light to carry. And uh, I, I just, you know, I want to be able to give it to somebody and hopefully they'll use it as an EDC. It's, a, it's on the small side, but I, I like smaller EDC blades. I've said that in previous videos. And this knife just seems to do it all and really hold an edge. Great little knife. Um, even if you want to throw it in your bug out bag, whatever you want to do with it, I could care less. But that is definitely going to be one of the things I'm... Uh, going to be given away. There's going to be a couple other little things in there. Maybe some ammo. I don't know. I'm not a gun channel, but um, I don't talk a lot about guns or the guns I own, but um, I do have ammo. Um, it won't be 22 LR, but it, it, it might be some ammo. Okay, so I'm not going to commit to anything else. I have a few ideas. That's going to be coming up in the summer. I really appreciate all the support from you guys, and uh, I hope to be watch as many videos as I can from from all the guys I watch regularly and uh, maybe comment here and there uh, late at night I watch a lot of my uh, cell phone here lately because I just haven't had time to sit in front of the computer if it's not for schoolwork so uh, that's it guys I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick update uh, on what's going on and uh, let you know that I am still married and uh, if my wife and I can get through this process we may just make it. We may just make it. So, uh, you know, I've been married since 2009, but this was a tough one, guys. This was a tough one. Video's going on long enough. Half of you probably haven't even uh, finished watching uh, the first part of this video. If you hung out this long, man, I really appreciate it. Look forward for that contest. Maybe pop in a couple videos here and there before that if I have time. Uh, really appreciate the support. Uh, getting over that 250 milestone is was important to me. And uh, it's not a lot of subs, but I am appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're a new subscriber, you know, I, uh, I'm usually good for a video a week uh, or every couple weeks at, at, at minimal. But uh, it just hasn't happened lately. So I've rambled on long enough. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.